It's heartbreaking to think of what these sweet little puppies have been through in the last couple days. They've been through an earthquake, they've lost their mother. Janae, what are we gonna go get? We're gonna get a dog. So we've decided to become foster puppy parents and I'm excited and I'm terrified. Mostly my heart just completely went out when I heard about these puppies and their story. They were affected by their earthquakes. They're from a part of Puerto Rico that's called Guayania and they were abandoned. They were found there on the beach, hiding, crouched underneath this little deck. The tide was coming in and they were rescued. And these dogs, these sweet little puppies that are only five weeks old, they need homes to go to. So we are working with a nonprofit organization called Love for Satos. And Satos is the Puerto Rican word for a stray dog or a mutt. And I love what this organization is doing. They're working with organizations in the United States. And so what happens is here, we have the puppies and we foster them. They go through a medical protocol to make sure that they're healthy and ready to fly. And then they go to the United States to be adopted and to find their forever home. And so to be able to be a little tiny part of this process and to be helped in some tiny way is really significant to our family. We're going to get two puppies. So the puppies are coming today like just in a couple hours, and the kids don't know anything about it yet. They're gonna be so excited. But I wanna be really sensitive in how we tell them because we're not getting these dogs, we're babysitting these dogs, we're fostering them, we're just loving them for a time to get them ready for their families. And I know that's a hard concept for kids to understand. They're going to attach. It's gonna be wonderful to have them and sad to let them go. Janae was super excited to play with the rice bin this morning. And Elise is nice enough to play with her. Janae, what are you making? I'm making the smoothie for you. A smoothie? Yeah. I love smoothies. What's Elise making? Elise making some cake. Oh, is this cake for me? Yeah, this cake yeah. is for you. I'm gonna you. pour it into. I'm, I'm almost making daddy cake and boy cake. Yeah, so these are the little tiny puppies. Aww. And two of them, them are gonna come be babysat at our house. There's those darker colored ones and the lighter ones. But these little tiny puppies got left all alone after the earthquake, so they need little babysitters. They said they were in the same family, so I- Mom, where babysitters? Mom, where babysitters? Yep, can we babysit the puppies? Yeah. So guys, these little puppies, we're gonna foster them. And that's what it's called when you let them live here and you take care of them, but they're not gonna be ours forever. So for two weeks, we're gonna love on these little puppies. So like from this week so or, excited. or the next week to, are we like, gonna start? Take care of a dog. Oh, that's a good question. When do we start? We have to. <gasps> After lunch, Daddy's gonna go pick up the puppies. Yay! <laughs> yep, this picture was taken yesterday. They were rescued this morning and now they're getting cleaned and taken care of to make sure they're all healthy and then that's they're gonna come cool stay at our house. It's a really cool organization. Well, we are heading to go pick up our two little puppies. And we're so excited. Jeremy said he's a little bit nervous. It's something that we've wanted to do for a lot of the time we've been here in Puerto Rico. And we keep saying, it's not a good time. It's not a good time. And right now is not a good time for us to get puppies. But I'm sick of saying that and I wanna just get them and experience it and begin doing that as a family. What are we gonna go get? We're gonna get a doggy. Oh, oh, they're so tiny. tiny. They're probably about five or six weeks old. They're, they're just so sleeping right now because they've got full bellies and their puppies do kind of like what babies do. We've got dry food for you to okay. take with you. So sometimes our kids are nervous around dogs, which is part of why we wanted to get some puppies and help them become more comfortable with the idea of dogs. And these two are gonna to go to a foster home tonight too. Helps to cover all the medical expenses, the airfare to get the dog to the States. Oh, we did the little baby. <laughs> Do you see he's tired because he's a baby? Oh. Babies are tired. Yeah, babies are tired. <laughs> which one would you like to 
These are the little puppies that were rescued from Guayania yesterday. So this one is ours. This one's She's a little girl. Hello. Hi. So this one's a little boy. The little boy. kids wanted a boy dog and a girl dog. Yeah. Hi, honey. There's so we're getting a kennel and towels and food. So we're picking up all the supplies. What are the new oh. So now we need to come up with puppy names. These will not be the puppies' permanent names because we're not the puppies' permanent family, but we still get to name them something for while they're with us. Janae, what should we name the puppies? One is a girl, and let's name it Rose. So this experience of fostering dogs is making me remember when we did this with the baby chicks. We took eggs and we hatched incubated them, them, incubated them, hatched them, and then played with them. That was like a really fun, Experience. I'm glad we did that. I'm glad we're doing this. Do you see the doggies? Yeah. Are they in there? <laughs> they're Daddy, snuggling. Oh, they're fighting. No, oh, they're, they're not fighting. They're just snuggling in there. Hi, guys. Oh, I, I think they're hungry. Do you Should think they're hungry? Food? Yeah. Okay. And maybe some water? Yeah. It's a good thing we got two puppies. That's all I can say. It seems like they're scared. I think they are. They're not used to people, no, especially scared. a bunch of really energetic kids. <laughs> I bet they'll get used to us. We have to set up the playpen. Should we wake him up right now? Yeah. Let's say boo. Did she say let's say boo? Yes, yeah, she yeah. did. Boo. <laughs> Nene's here to play with you, doggies. Here we go. This is the little boy. This is the girl. Their tails are so long and cute. Do you like them? I thought we would bring home like a big puppy, like the big kinds, but I didn't think we would bring like a five month old. This one is five weeks old. Five weeks? Yeah, she's just teeny. Let's get some more water. Are you having fun watching her? So this little girl seems to be a little bit of an adventurer. These dogs are so cute. Aren't they? They're all eating it. They're are they all... sharing? Yeah, they're sharing. They're sharing. Did the boy snuggle up to you? Yeah. I'm not they anymore. Snuggled. They're playing with each other. Are they playing with each other? They want to play. Their hair is so soft and it's like a teddy bear. But... So I went high five and he went awesome. He put his paw on it. He's a puppy. He's, He's wagging his puppy. tail. You know. So Jeremy's been the one on poop cleanup duty. We knew that going in though. If we were going to get the dogs, okay, I was the poop guy. Pets provide so many lessons for kids. At least they did for me when I was growing up. Like they teach you about life and birth and death and love and friendship. Is he giving you five? Yeah. A five. five. The sad part for me is when they leave, I'm going to be so sad. <laughs> it is going to be hard to say goodbye to them. <laughs> After meeting them, Link and Zelda would not fit them at all. We spent the drive home brainstorming names. We have a whole list. He's, he's scratching! It's so cute. Watching our little babies grow up. Oh, I'm becoming so <laughs> fond of these dogs. I don't want to <laughs> Can you do that? Yeah, listen. They're having Can fun exploring. No, I like it out here. This is their best spot. <laughs> you <just> like, <laughs> You playing? You playing? I love you. Yeah. I can't imagine what their life must have been like when they were strays. Jade just keeps moving the food around like nonstop. Wait, let's leave it here for them. It looks no. like they want it. <laughs> She's starting yeah. to play. <laughs> Let me come. Let me come. What's your favorite over here? Let me come. Come. No. <laughs> Are you seeing this, you guys? Come. 
So now that we spent a little bit more time with the puppies, we're leaning towards the names Jack and Rose. So Kendra and I have been brainstorming about ways we can decrease screen time in the home. You know, less playing of video games, less on our phones and tablets. And having pets definitely is a good solution for that. <laughs> Get it! So we're trying to give the kids a lot more responsibility and opportunities to work around the house. And one of the things we're doing is letting the kids help more with dinner. Elise does help us a lot with dinner, but now she's doing the whole thing on her own. What are you making tonight? Just spaghetti. Yeah, she had bigger plans. We were gonna do red and yeah, white pasta. But we, had we ran out of time. Yeah. So now she's simplifying. She's a better sleeper because he kind of twitches when he sleeps, but then he's a little bit more cuddly. I think we still have a lot to learn about these dogs and their personalities. Mm -hmm. I would love to take a nap with them. You should. Maybe nap time will come back for our older kids if we let them nap with the doggy. Melatonin. Should we get the melatonin? Yeah. I don't think we need it. But we do. Looks like you guys tired the doggies out. They're already asleep. Yep, they're asleep. Both of them are asleep. It's heartbreaking to think of what these sweet little puppies have been through in the last couple of days. They've been through an earthquake, they've lost their mother, now they're separated from all their siblings, and even though they've been rescued after being alone, it still must be terrifying because they have no idea what's going on and what's happening, and I just, I feel for them, and as I watch them sleep, I hope that they're able to feel safety and love while they're here with us, and I'm really hoping that they find a beautiful family to go be adopted by. You wanna learn a trick? Huh. Take the bottle and just bang the top of it on the ground a little bit. So like this. Just to kind of loosen it. Might just need bigger hands. <laughs> okay, so another thing you can do is hit the bottom of it. So you pick it up and you pop the bottom of it. Yeah, a little bit harder. <laughs> I can't do it. You got it. Try banging the top of it on the ground a little bit more. I can't. You can do can it. No, me? keep trying. You got it. Okay, now try. It. <laughs> <laughs> you did it! I knew if you kept trying, you could do it. I'm so proud of you. Can I cook? Elise, this looks wonderful. Thanks. Thanks for cooking dinner. Look at this, Mom. The sauce looks awesome. It does. Well, the kids went to bed. And since then, we've just been out playing with the puppies. For a couple hours. Apparently, it's our turn to play. Yeah. Right now, we're hoping they sleep really well tonight because we want to sleep really well tonight. What's exciting, too, is that as these puppies get ready to go back to the States, if you're interested in adopting them, <laughs> <laughs> sorry, um, we'll have more information on that coming up of where they're gonna be, and you could be the ones to adopt these puppies. It's exciting. That makes me really happy. We want him to go to a really great home. Good night, guys. Jay I clearly don't know enough about Harry Potter to be here.